Welcome to part three of a guide to the Farming Simulator 19 Platinum Edition. This time we're looking at loaders. With me, Mr. Sealy P. Okay then, what loaders do we get in the Platinum Edition Platinum Expansion Class DLC? I think that pretty much covers all of it. Um, we get, well actually technically we get kind of six really, because these are loaders. They are front loaders. Uh, we've got the FL120C, which is the smaller one, and the FL140. This one will fit onto the Arian 440, which can take a front loader attachment. That one will fit a bit better onto the slightly larger Arian, uh, my mind's gone blank on the number, the uh, 660610, which will also take a front loader attachment. Um, very, very nice, what we'll do. No, I've got to stop saying very, very nice. I think, let's just take it as red, they're very, very nice. <laughs> I mean, we've got John Deere ones, we've got New Holland ones, I think there's a modded New Holland one now as well. But it's nice to have a pack that matches up. I like the fact that all the, uh, all the lines all hook into that block really neatly. Very, very well put together. Very cool. Nice reach on them. Which you'd expect with the front loaders. So there you go. These you'll find in the front loader category. Let's just stop there. Um, like I say, we can do it going through class if you want to. If you haven't already watched part one and part two, part one was tractors, part two was harvesters. This is part three, loaders. Um, I'll put a link up for one or both of the other ones, maybe one after the other. So if we're going through class through the actual manufacturer, we've got the FL120C at 5,700. There are no options available. You get the front loader. That will hook up to all front loader tools, uh, the CSZ pack and various different... Um, bits and bobs that go with front loaders which is exactly what they're supposed to do moving on from that we've got the first of our kind of self-propelled front loaders or f loaders let's say that so we've got the Torian 639 this comes under the front loader category in class in the class range they've got these three or we've got these three in game anyway which are all Torians. So they're part of the Torian class. This comes under front loader. These two come under wheel loaders. I mean, technically it is a wheel loader, but it's just a smaller version. This comes into the same category as like the little Kramer. We'll have a look at that in a second as well. Um, again, lovely detail on it. Looks great. I'm seriously considering on my Let's Play on um, Geiselsberg. I've got a Lintner Lin track I'm using for the pigs, and I think I might might sell that and get this because I think this might work a little bit better for what I'm doing. It does have a trailer hitch on the back, and the trailer hitches do work. Um, I did try them; they hook up to the pin hitch trailers, where you put kind of the bolt, the pin through, uh, but they won't hook up to the ball hitch trailers. Let's jump in it. I found with some of the loaders. They can be a little bit sluggish on the turn. I haven't noticed that so much with these. I've had a bit of a fiddle around with them and I haven't noticed anything like that. Nice enough reach. About the same kind of reach as the front loader tool anyway. Again, this will work with the CSZ pack. This will work with front loader tools and the various different implements we've had in the game already. We do have a beacon. Lights. Rear lights. Main work lights. And inside, let's turn all those lights off. We do have a panel that shows it. Lights on, rear lights, main work lights, turn them all off. We've also got one for our beacon. Again, you can just about see, oh, it's difficult to tell there, but anyway, you can kind of see it rotating, but turn that off again. So we have got an indicated light to show us whether our hazard, uh, our beacon is on or not. The in cab's nice. There are no doors and windows open, plenty of mirrors, so we can see what we're doing, but there's plenty of visibility all round anyway. Might still be a kit, this. Uh, let's turn the engine off and jump out. So like I say, this you will find, um, if we go in through the normal menu, this will be under front loaders. 
So you've got the Kramer and then there's the modded Kramer. They're at 60 grand a pop. Um, this is 64,500 and it is 11 slots, which isn't too bad. The modded one of those is nine, so it's about average. Nice looking bit of kit. Options, we can have standard or we can have front twins, which I think looks quite cool. I suppose if you're going to be working in, I don't know if you'd work in your bunker silo, your silage clamp, would you? With that, it's a little bit small, probably not enough weight on there. But anyway, um, very nice bit of kit, the Touring 639. Next up at... Oh, yeah, we're going to carry on through here. We've got the wheel loaders. So we've got the Tour the Touring 956. This is the Sinus. I, I want to say Sinus. It's spelled Sinus, but it's a very weird name for it. Now, this is kind of in a category of its own. Whilst it is in wheel loaders, all the other wheel loaders we've got in-game are much bigger. They're kind of this sort of size. There isn't anything in-game that kind of directly links with this, so it's kind of unique, I suppose, in that respect. It's only 106 horsepower, so not particularly powerful. It's bigger than the front loader, but not as big as the bigger wheel loaders. Um, I'm sure you know people will find a use for various different jobs and stuff. I suppose if you've got a small yard and you want a wheel loader and you don't want a massive great beast in it. Again, trailer hitch um, works. Let's jump in. Obviously this will take wheel loader attachments. It will also take the CSZ pack wheel loader attachments. I mean they're pretty much the same as far as equipment goes. We've got our beacons, we've got our lights, rear lights, front work lights, indicators. What I do like about some of these as well, I haven't been able to find in a lot of the class stuff the indicators, there's no like dashboard or anything like that. Um, we do have up here, we turn our lights on, but there is one that you can just about see comes on for your beacons, for your beacon. They do come, they do come on, they're just not particularly bright. Um, and then indicators, you can actually see them from on, from inside, you can see on the edges of the indicator, obviously the wipers in the way of that one, but if I put it on, you can just see it through there flashing. Um, so that's that. I like this one. I'm not, you know, it's kind of. I would say in a world of its own, that sounds a bit weird, but uh, yeah, very cool bit of kit. So this is in wheel loaders, but it's. Um, I'll show you what I mean. We've got the new Holland 190D, which is 234 horsepower. We've got the uh, 435 SJCB, which is 230 horsepower. The larger Taurin is 224. This is only 106, so there isn't anything really around it. Um, we've got an option of Trelleborgs, standard or twins on the front. We can have knock-ins with the communal, communal tyres on there, like so. Very nice indeed, which brings us on to the larger of the three which is the Taurian 1914 or 1914. We've just kind of sort of had a look in there. Um, this is more comparable with the standard wheel loaders we're kind of used to having. I haven't got the um, bonus edition yet because that will come out with my season pass on Monday night into Tuesday. Um, so there is the dev mule version of this which is kind of in a paint scheme so you couldn't tell what it was when it was being produced but um, again this is under wheel loaders and it's just there the Tory 1914 248,000 um, oh I didn't say slots did I sorry the 956 Cenus was 28 slots this one is 27 uh, so f one slot less than the Cenus Sinus. I don't know why but it is um, options available again we've got Trelleborgs and we've got oh we've got Metas on this ah now that was something I was going to mention the trailer balls give you a much higher ride height. When you put the meters on, it drops it down considerably. So if you're looking for good ride height over obstacles, I'm not quite sure what you'd be going over. You might want to stick with the uh, trailer balls, uh, the meters, and then we've got the Michelins as well. Sort of arranged through various different sizes. Then the knock-ins. It looks a bit odd on there with that. I'm doing something. Looks like an armadillo. It's a very peculiar looking thing. Anyway, uh, there you go. Let's jump in it. You can tell already it's got a bigger engine, a bit throatier. Beacon on top. Lights front, rear, work lights. From in cab, we have got this display up here. Again, lights on. We scroll through. 
and there's one there for our beacon indicators we can see clearly there we go cool I like this one like I say again we've got a few different wheel loaders and it's always nice to have something a little bit different it's, it's a much it does look different to the ones we've got in game already I know each manufacturer has a slightly different look to them but oh, something about this one it's, it looks more kind of industrial more construction than farming I guess I don't know why I just in my head fan going around there but anyway there you go which brings us on to the last of our loaders for today which is this the class scorpion when i was up at rickaby uh class dealership up in carlisle i got a really good look over one of these um close up really nice it looks a little bit like the manitou with that kind of ergonomic kind of sloped rounded off edges um very nice but this it has it's not a trick up its sleeve but it does have something rather cool going for it I like this one, the detail on it, all the stickers and decals and information. Absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So, let's jump in it, start it up. Front lights, rear lights, work lights, beacon. There's no doors or windows or anything that open on it. Uh, it does have a free front hitch, does have a rear hitch. I'll just... As the usual options that you get, we do have... All wheel steer, front wheel steer, crab steer modes. The trailer hitches do work. For various different jobs. So uh, R1. So we put it on front wheel steer. Then we go crab steer, crab steer, back to all wheel steer, like so. Now this is the trick up its sleeve. I've got a couple of um, tele handlers already lined up there. We line this one up next to it. So on the end, we've got the Massey Ferguson. In the middle, we've got the Manitou. And if you look at the different heights, the uh, Manitou just out edges the Massey Ferguson by a little bit. Let's back up a little bit, just so we can't be accused of cheating or anything. So, let's have a look. Now, on the fact sheets, it looked like this was the case, but it was quite difficult to tell. Look at the reach on that. That is incredible. That is vastly, vastly taller than the other two. I and mean, that's not a little bit. That's a big difference in reach on that. Very, very cool. So, yeah, not bad at all, that. I know I was asked, a few people said when I did the fact sheets, the picture that showed on the fact sheet looked like it had a long reach. And I said, well... It, it does look like it, but until I get a chance to actually get my hands on one, it's going to be very difficult to tell. So there you go, that's the Class 1033 Scorpion. We'll have a quick look in the store at it. This comes under telehandlers. Um, we have got a few different ones. Slot count-wise, this one runs at 16, which isn't too bad because the Manitou MLAT is 20. Uh, the Massey Ferguson... Um, what have we got? Look, 143 horsepower, 122 horsepower. The Manitou's 129. This one runs 136. So, yes, about average 96,000. It's not overly priced. It's not ridiculously expensive. But I would say, with that reach, pretty, pretty handy. Um, we can have standard or wide. Again, if you're looking for a little bit more ground clearance, I'm not quite sure why you would necessarily need it. But if you go for the wides, it raises it up a little bit more. Only a little bit, but it does. Uh, and then we've got our knock-ins with the communal tyres, like so. And there you go. That's our loaders for the Platinum Expansion, Platinum Edition, Class DLC. I hope you found it useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.